Hey guys, how's it going? So this is what we'll be making today. Pretty easy stuff. It looks cool, but I found this on Pinterest and I was like, oh crap, I should make that. So let's get started. Okay. So let's make a plane first, scale that up with S and then uh, S, X, no, Y, S, Y to get that little horizon. Yeah, so let's make a camera, just set it up nice and quick. Um, let's, yeah, okay, just S, X, and then Control, Alt, Zero, so it kind of does put the camera right where you are, and then we could set the uh, resolution to 1024 by 1024. All right, and then maybe set to like 40, eh, yeah, that looks fine. All right. So let's 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 start making the stuff. So all I really did with the little arches back here, just to explain it really quick, this is just glass material and then behind it is like a like a ring that's a missive. And then I just composited it a tad, just make it look a little bit better. Um let's so we're gonna go shift A, mesh cube, and then S X to scale that in and there we go. SC would be a little, maybe a little bit more skinny and then a little bit more wide. That's how I like them. That's <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. And select that top face and then E to extrude. Easy. We'll just click Z. You don't have, you have to click Easy. Just click E to extrude and then Z. So it's easy. Make it a little bit taller. And then we make this glass. Just off the bat, we can make it glass because we're going to copy this around and make it look better. Glass. Let's assign it. You click Alt to select that edge, edge loop, so, um, concrete, and these are really simple materials, we just, it's just, um, we go into bridge, and I export stuff, I'll link some assets that I found in, in the description. So, I'm just gonna mess with this a little bit, make it look a little bit better, um, that looks fine, that's looking a little bit more epic and big, okay, cool. So, I'm going to duplicate this and then make it a little bit smaller, that's off camera. Alright, great, let's make you a little bit more menacing, just a tad. Um, so, oh, it's a bit wider. Let's make it a little bit more wide, less tall. Uh, let's see, that looks good. Um, maybe make you a bit more wide. Yeah. All right, let's duplicate you. Shift D, and then RZ, and then GZ, just so to put it where we need it. All right, cool, this is where it gets kind of fun. So we might go into cycles, and if you have a GPU, use it, because this is just a lot of ray tracing. Every, all the materials are applied. Let's just apply really quick the material for the ground, which is just the concrete material that we need. Um, let's import our bridge assets, shader editor, and then we can go to bridge. And if you have bridge, just you can find whatever you want. But if you don't, I can link it in the in the, in the it's free. I can link it in the description. And that'll be pretty easy. So let's just export the dirt as a just universal material along, uh, along with this other material. So I guess it's not universal, whatever. Um, so I like that. So I'm gonna copy you, go back to concrete, boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Now it's now we're getting reflective. So basically the black on this crunches uh, how reflective it is. So black means no roughness. White means it's all roughness. Like you can't you can't reflect anything off it. So yeah, um, I think that looks okay for now. Maybe crunch that a little bit more. Okay, let's see. All right, cool. Let's start making the glass. I'm, I'm actually gonna turn down the base color a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's make the glass, so we're going to make it specular, we're going to put some transmission on that, and then we're going to make an alpha blend. This is where the glass kind of effect kind of comes in, but watch, it'll turn into glass once I do my thing. So let's copy over our roughness map, let's copy that, um, select, 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 that's just clicking alt and then selecting it, let's go back there, uh, whoop, okay. And then just okay, so I click U and then Q projection to do that. That just kind of does like a basic projection for cubes, as it says, cube projections. Um, let's see. Oh, that's looking pretty good. It doesn't look like glass yet, but it will because we haven't put anything behind it to make it look like glass. So what we're gonna do is we're add, we're gonna add in a circle, not that big. Select edges, or else this won't work. If you click, oh, it does work. I'm actually slow. So I thought you had to click edges for it to work, for it to fill in the center. Apparently you don't. You can just click faces. That's fine. 
Uh, so this is the, the center is the only one we want filled in because if you look at the reference, which I'll pull up in a second, it's not the 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 the, the, the side ones aren't filled in. So yeah, this that's the final product. Um, let's see here. So that looks pretty good positioning. Let's just kind of turn that up. This is where some of the magic happens, so you can see it through the glass, but like barely. That's good. It's because we're gonna be adding some emissive to it, and then boom turning that up but we have one issue the glass isn't fully rough where it needs to be rough so we need to add in a color another color rate and then it'll look like better glass you know there we go see boom we did it we did the glass effect aren't you proud of yourself anyway make that a little bit smaller so we have this kind of sun effect that I really like there um, and I'm gonna copy over the rest of them so it's just the same thing we can actually um, delete only faces only fans um, and then a and then E oh we're selecting both of them whoopsie oh this is part of, so I need to separate this so I think I made it in the same material so you could select this P and then selection that basically se separates it from just click E once and then scale it out and then you have your you have your um, little circle let's see that looks good that looks pretty good that looks good. we scale it down a little bit just so I, I already had the faces selected or the verts so that was an easy dub um okay that's looking good okay so the crown looks good um now we just need to add in the monk and the back oh the back so for the back i just duplicated the floor and then put it back here and it worked okay maybe just bring it back a little bit and scale it up a little bit now i'm gonna try something else if we bring it kind of closer so it has a little bit of that glow to it i mean not that much glow but just like a little bit so I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to make it a little less rough, but I, I want to have more texture. So we, what we can do is we can go to edit mode and scale down the UVs so it has a little bit more going on to it. Um, just a little bit bigger. I like doing this. So. Um, okay. I think that looks okay for our purposes. Um, maybe make it a little... That's the color. Yeah, make it a little darker. Okay, that looks good. So now we're gonna go to File, Import, Images as Plane. So if you don't see it, it's because your add-on isn't activated. You need to activate it in Settings, Preferences, Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then you'll see it. Just like Images as Plane. So if you do have it, great job. It's awesome. So, oh my god, if I can select it, Import, Images as Planes, and then we can go here. I like dragging and dropping it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and select. I'll link this in the description. And then boom, we have it. And then you can just do like base color, and then make this black because we only really need is like silhouette. Okay, and we're almost done. We just need to render it and then composite. Do do a tat, tiny bit of compositing. So um, so put you here. I want you to be a bit, a little bit smaller, a lot smaller. Okay. So one more thing, we have to set the shadow mode to alpha clip, so it gets that nice shadow in there. And I think we're good. I'm gonna try one more thing that I didn't try in my test. Um, maybe turn that down. Oh, that's a nice effect. Maybe turn it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I added fog, but didn't really make a difference, so I, maybe not this time. So, control save, and then tutorial. Great. Let's render this out, and I'll see you guys in compositing. Oh, I almost forgot to say. Um, for compositing, make sure you click glossy, and then crazy like 345 or something. So.